this is the Tilta Nucleus Nano Wireless Follow Focus. I'd like to thank first Mr. Tony Duaji of Digitech for giving me a good price for this item. And uh, guys, if you need any photography and uh, videography equipment, peripherals, you can visit them. Uh, I think they are near Dera, in front of uh, city center. I'll, uh, I'll put the link below so check them out. So yeah, let's get started. We're gonna unbox this now. This is the Nucleus Nano unboxing. First thing you notice is it has a very good casing, hard case. Okay, now let you open it. There you go. So we have a mounting plate, uh, a rod, the motor, two batteries charger and the mounting plate and the hand wheel first of all let's check this is gonna be the manual it is important actually so don't throw it respect the manual Warranty card. Uh, gear. What do you call this? See, I don't even know what to do with this. So that's what happened for the manual. So, the manual it says that it's a photo lens follow focus gear ring. So it's a gear ring, guys. Screws. Now, uh, I guess this is a 15 dia aluminum rod. Let's check it after. Uh, what else? Cables. D tap to USB. Micro. Micro to micro cables, and then we have here the uh, what do you call this attachment plate for Roniness. Sorry, so this is a 90 for 95 mm lens. I guess this is a mounting plate. And, uh, I don't know, I'm not gonna use this actually. So. And then below it we have the yeah this is the attachment hand wheel attachment adapter for Zion frame. Then yeah, so this is the charger. Uh, I think this will be red while it's charging and then it will become blue once it's uh, finished charging and then there is the battery this is not guys actually a ordinary triple A battery this is a 4 4500 800 milliampere 3.7 lithium ion rechargeable batteries so yeah so 
so you can recharge by your battery by just sticking this two ends and charging it. So it goes like this. Then this is the attachment plate. So yeah, this is where you will put your hand wheel. You can attach this anywhere. Like on my, I will show it to you later. But yeah, it's attached. And then we have here the motor itself. So. It's a real small model. It's the build is, I think, this part is uh, metal and some po some part of it's uh, plastic. And then there's a little screw here, so you can tighten it up. And then we have here the hand build. a logo on front and then a wooden finish on the side and yeah it's very small it's very smooth it's very smooth yeah, I don't know actually what's this one and I never saw anyone using this kind of electrical parts here I don't know what's this one actually so thing is you can attach it here directly Since uh, I have a very short lens and I'm using a 23mm, the problem is uh, the motor is already touching the rig, so there's no other way but to improvise. So I'm using a small rig, uh, clump, what do you call this? I forgot. Anyway, I'll just put the link below and attach the, the rod top of it touch this one the other bottom the other rod right. So I can easily focus on my subject without even touching the lens. So it will add more um, stability on my shots, and it's more. Easier. See, guys, yeah, so you have to calibrate it first eh? before you use it. So I already put, I already calibrated with it. I already calibrated before I use it. So yeah. So guys, uh, thank you for watching and. Please do visit uh, Digitech. As I've said earlier, they have a lot of uh, good stuff on their shop. So I'll put a link below. Thank you for watching, guys. And uh, if you are new to this channel, please kindly hit the subscribe and bell notification down below. And yeah, thank you so much.